All right, hey guys, Nikita here. And someone asked me here in our community in YouTube if I can create an arcade bomb, arcane bomb. And <laughs> I didn't know what this is. And I had a look and yeah, this is something like that. I don't know, from a game or, or something like that. And it looks so funky and so funny. So yeah, why not? It's definitely yeah, not my style, but yeah. So let's jump into plasticity and start creating that. And before we start with our amazing tutorial, I've just launched a brand new plasticity course with four incredible separate products, a sci-fi prop, a super detailed grenade, a complex drone concept, and the DJI Mavic Pro 3 camera. The entire course is explained in step-by-step -step details, no fast forwards or silent gaps, so everything is structured and edited professionally. First link in the description, let's dive into our tutorial. All right, so first of all, you need this reference image. So I'm just type in a cane bump and um, yeah, download this image and go here to import a pen and select it and press just SS to make it tiny bit smaller, uh, bigger. And also press M. So you're in the material mode, bring it to the front and reduce the opacity a little bit so it's transparent. And now press G and just bring it back so it's, yeah, so it's not disturbing us so we can work. All right. So go again to the front view and we will start here with the bottom body. Then with this top body, then add a few details. And then at the end, we will create this mouth here on the grenade with an eye on the mouth. So I don't know. This is, this is literally a meme grenade, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny. So why not? All right. So let's create here a sphere. Okay, so you go here just to sphere, you snap it to the middle and you just drag it out. Right click to confirm and you just bring it down here. So something like that. So yeah, you have your sphere here and yeah, then we just have to cut it. So create a new line and snap it here to the X axis, bring it over, right click to confirm, select this line, press C, select the body and cut the body. It's selected, press X to delete it. So you just have like this hemisphere, I think it's called. No, I don't know. And just bring it here down. And yeah, so that, that is fine. So yeah, we have our sphere here. So select the sphere and just bring it down. And yeah, this is fine. Maybe a little bit up and press OK. And now let's create, yeah, those things here. And for that, just create a new line again and snap it here to the, to the middle of the beginning of this knob here and just drag a line. So it's, um, parallel to those edges. Yeah. More or less. It doesn't have to be precise here. So something like that, right click. And then when this line is selected, just press P. So you are in pipe mode and then so just press P, you are in pipe mode, and then we can just adjust here this uh, section. And yeah, so something as that and press OK. And I think this is fine. And now let's go here and add a little chamfer. So select the edge and just uh, drag it here. So something like that. OK, so then we see on the reference, we have here this plus signs. So go to face mode, select this face and press spacebar. So now you have this construction plane and we look directly at it. So create a corner rectangle, snap it here to the middle, press C. So yeah, you go in all directions, press right click, shift D to duplicate, R for rotate and rotate it here on the Z axis. 90 degrees, type it in and yeah, perfect. Now, so right click and now press T for trim and let's trim those edges we don't need. Press OK, press 2 for edge mode, alt click. So all edges are selected. Press J because we have all of them separately and now B to bevel them a little bit. Fine. And go out of that construction plane, press 3 for face mode. Select this face and drag it in. Press Q to Boolean out of this body. You see it's blue, but we need it red. So press W for difference. Press OK. And again, selected edge, delete it. 
Um, yeah, give it here a fillet and this is fine. So we go now to the, so I know it already. So we have six of those. So four, we see on the front, two in the back. So we have six. We go to the top view here and we select this body. So we don't need our line here anymore. So we select this body and press here radial array here to the middle. If you don't see it, press Alt Z. So you have the origin and just type in number six and yeah, this is fine. Press OK or right click. And now we have to do it one more time. So just select this body and press R and V. So we change the pivot and you can snap it. Yeah, here maybe. And whoops, that was the wrong. So R and V snap it here to the end. And the, so, snap, so selected body press R. Um, so selected body R for rotate and then F for freestyle or freeform and go once to the center here and to the center here. So now you can just, yeah, bring it downwards. So yeah, maybe it's not exact, but yeah, I don't really care here. So yeah, we just bring it down to the angle. Oh, and before we do that, we have to shift D to duplicate this. So again, we have now here, you see two of them. So R and F for freestyle, snap it to the center, snap it here to the center and just rotate it downwards. Press OK. That looks fine. So now go, uh, we go again to the top view. And now we have to rotate it here in between. So press again R and F, snap it this time to the origin. And yeah, somewhere here in the center and just drag it out. So it's yeah, roughly in the middle. And yeah, so this is fine. You see, and so we go again to the top view and radial array again around the origin and again six. And now we have what we need. Perfect. So select everything, press Q and Q again, let it load, press OK. And we have our body here. Very simple. So let's continue by creating a new line with shift A and let's just, yeah, cut it here, right click, press C, cut this body, right click, and it's selected both, just delete it. All right. So here, we have to extrude it. So select this face here with number three and you can't extrude it this way because then it follows the sphere. So what we have in to do instead is press E. So we extrude yeah, a new body and extrude it to somewhere here because then we have this angle. So press OK and again select this face and again press E. So we extrude again a new body and just rotate it here on those white handles. That looks fine. And yeah, this we will do in a second. So again, select this face, press E and just drag it outwards, press OK. Again, select this face, press E, drag it outwards and here adjust the angle a little bit. Perfect. All right. And now again, select the face, press E and go here to the top or go further. So somewhere here, I guess, press OK. And now let's create this extrusion. So just shift A and let's create here a, a new line. Press right click, press C to cut this body. OK, you can delete this line and now three, press three for the face mode, select this face. You have this control here and you can just drag it out. So you see you have a nice extrusion. So that looks really fine. And did that is okay. And yeah, now I don't know how exactly it looks here, but we can, for example, select this edge here, shift D. So we duplicate it. And we press SS and we scale it yeah, towards that here. Press OK. Again, face mode, we select that blue face, we drag it out 
and yeah, we just give it a little bit of an angle. This is fine. And selected edge deleted. And also one more time. So select this edge here, shift D, press SS to scale it down, press OK, select this face and extrude it again. And yeah, this is OK. So let's add yeah, those little things here. Yeah, I will not do it exactly, but uh, yeah, so let's just here create a circle. Just snap it here to the middle and just, um, yeah, drag it out. Yeah, something, something like that. Press OK. And just rotate it a little bit over. So press G and let's bring it to the middle. So just snap here to the X axis. So you see we are in the middle. And again, press three, select this blue face and just drag it out a little bit and press tap. So you are on the other side. So it's mirroring on the other side as well. Press OK. And let's select those edges here and delete them. Select with tap this body. Go to the front view, press Alt X and X. So we mirror it just over here. And let's give it here a little chamfer. So select those edges. Give them a little chamfer. And yeah, this looks fine. So now we can add, yeah, this thing here. So yeah, it's basically just, I guess, a circle. So again, just create a circle, go here roughly to the middle. And yeah, that will do fine. So something like that. And maybe just bring it a little bit down here. And yeah, what we could maybe add is um, to cut it here. So yeah, it's just ending where we have our cylinders. So simple uh, split curve here or edge uh, at points and just go to the curve here and split it here in the middle. And the same again, split curve edge at a point and just here in the middle. And now select the circle, press Alt J. So now you have this extra edge deleted. So we are left just with this curve here and I don't know, you can adjust it, maybe scale it a little bit here on the top, bring it a little bit here. And yeah, just, okay, I don't, like, very simple here. So just P and just make the section size here a little bit bigger, press OK. And you see it's also directly in the middle. And yeah, I think so it's kind of same material. So yeah, you can Boolean that or not, but let's do it. Why not? Let's select those three bodies, press Q and Q because then we can give you a cool, nice little fillet. So yeah, why not? And yeah, that looks fine. And let's give here those two edges a chamfer. So something along that line. And also, yeah, we have here. So first of all, let's also create here a cut. So yeah, here. So here, but I don't want to extrude and all that stuff. So yeah, this little simple trick, just create a new line and just cut it in. So you have something like that, right? Because now what we can do just, um, those points have to be outside of the cylinder. So what you can do now is this edge is selected. You go to revolve and press Alt Z. So yeah, you can see a center. Okay, but you have too many centers. Okay, so just go to any center here, snap it, or you can just also snap it here. So you have to snap it just on the middle. So we just re will revolve it along the Z axis. So this is selected. S press revolve and just go to Z axis and just drag it up. Select it with right click, delete this little triangle. And now you can just select this whole main body, press Q for Boolean, shift click this new face and just OK. And then you see we can select that and just delete that. And we have this extra thing here. So I think we can use that here. So let's give here a little fillet. And yeah, you can give everywhere. Uh, so I mean a chamfer and yeah, you can give here everywhere a fillet and all that stuff. So yeah, I will not do it right now because it's just very repetitive and yeah, it's, I guess also it will be very low poly. But yeah, anyway, so let's continue with this shape. 
And yeah, I'm also not doing like the super little details because yeah, the mouth will take a little bit more time. So here, pretty simple, we will just... So now let's create a line and follow here this outside shape roughly. So something along that line here. And yeah, this is fine. So now press one, select this point and B for bevel. The same here, select that, press B and also give here a little bevel. Perfect. And now you can just press O and you can here offset that a little bit. So yeah, this, this, this works fine. And just press Shift A and connect those points here and Shift A connect those points. You see we can extrude it. First of all, click 2 and Alt click. So all are selected and again press G and here on the Y axis and just drag it on the Y axis and then Control click here on the X. So it's in the middle and yeah, we can just select that face and drag that out, press Tab. So it's on the both sides, press OK. And yeah, this is fine. So yeah, we can give some fillets here. But yeah, this is more than fine. All right, so let's also create this little piece. I just show you a simple trick how you can align that. Or even better, let's first create, we have here some insets. So let's do that. So here create the, on the edge a new line. So with shift A again and snap it. Okay, so that was too fast, I guess. So, so uh, go to the front view and you see we have like those here triangles. So front view is, uh, create a line and first of all, we need the construction line, you see, because we can't snap it here in the middle. So just go to any middle point where you can snap and press shift. So now you see you can snap it here to the middle and snap it here and here and snap it um, back on this edge and snap it also back here. So you have just the half and now press Alt X and X. So now you have it on both sides, press J and select those three points and just give them a little fillet. And yeah, so now let's drag that thing out. So press G and drag it out. Go to the front view and press C and cut this uh, body. Or before we do this, let's uh, do it different. So we go, so we go to the front uh, top view. Let's bring it a little bit closer. So it's not touching and now we will again, so edge is selected, radial array to the middle here and six again. And yeah, so we have six and now it looks like that. And yeah, we don't really want to cut and also there's a cool function imprint. So select this edge here, press shift I and select this body and you see we imprint that. So let's do it the same here. So select the edge, shift I and select the body and yeah, it's not the most elegant way, but I will just show you why we do this. So the last one, the reason why we are doing this, so we don't want to just extrude because we have um, a curved shape here, but this here is straight and then it will just look shit. So when we have imprinted that, let's select all of those lines and delete them. We don't need them. And press three for face mode because now we can just select all of those faces with shift. And you see if we drag them in, they have still this curvature. So that's, is, that's just cool. And yeah, looks better. So perfect. We have something like that. And you see we don't have to boolean anything. Yeah. So now let's create, so now let's create here this, yeah, I don't know, belt or something. So let's go here to the front view. Oh no, let's go here to any side view. So for example, the left one. Okay, let me see where it starts. Okay, it starts from the top and goes a little bit below that. Okay, so yeah, I don't know, like very simple. Let just create a new line, shift A and just follow 
along this shape here. So yeah, very simple. I know it's definitely not exact, but in this example, we really don't need it. So yeah, we have something like that. Press G and just drag it on the X axis and snap it again to the center. So this is fine. And now again, let's go here and give everything a fillet. So just press B, right click and press O to offset that a little bit. Press OK, give this point a little fillet and yeah, press Shift A and co connect those endpoints. Perfect. So again, three for face mode, select this blue face and drag it out and sh uh, tap. So both sides the same, delete this. And yeah, we can take that here and drag it downwards, press OK. And just with two, we will select um, here those two edges and give them a nice little fillet. So yeah, we have kind of this belt and yeah, you can, I don't know, maybe adjust it. Yeah, something like here or yeah, I don't know how it looks on the top, but I don't really care. So let's start with this something funky like that. And yeah, give everywhere fillets for the high poly version. Um, yeah, but now let's do the mouth. And man, that took me some time to figure out how one can do this. And I came up with something. Um, yeah, so you definitely have, <laughs> just a disclaimer, spent, I don't know, like if you want exact same shape, you have to spend more time with all the steps that we will do, but I will show you the technique. So first of all, let's bring all, the, so let's delete those curves here that we don't need. Yeah. And select everything with the object mode and control G and call it just uh, main body because, um, yeah, let's hide it. Okay. So if you check out also here the reference, we have one, two, three sides. So three faces. That means to make a half, we need on the right side two more because you know, this is here straight. So let me see, I see here. So this face, you see it's, it's straight and then it just go one more and one more. So the same will be, would be on the other side. So we would have five faces facing towards us. So we need 10 faces. So we have to create a polygon with 10 faces and use this as a wall. Okay. I think no one understood what I mean, but let me just show you that will make more sense. So we go here to the top view. Oh, and I'm seeing I'm in the back here, not the front. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so let's go here to the top and create here a poly regular polygon snap it to the middle. And we have five now. And somehow it's not showing how many points there are. This is weird. So, uh, shift and scroll wheel. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you see we have to snap it. So now it's snapping here with an angle, but here we want it straight. So just press X and drag it outwards here. So yeah, snap it something like that. You will see why we are doing this. Um, yeah, so SS to make it in general a little bit smaller. Right click. And now we have to cut it. And yeah, also we need this whole face here. So what we will do, so we don't want to cut it. So we just need one quarter because then we will just mirror it over. So we have to press G and V to bring the, uh, the, the pivot here and just press G. So press G and V and bring this pivot here. So G and V and bring that and control click to the Y axis. We need this piece here. Okay. So it's confusing because I'm looking from the back at it. All right. 
So now create just a new line, shift A and snap it here and bring it here to the origin and also bring it here, right click. Perfect. So now if we press T for trim, uh, we can select all of those lines. We don't need them anymore. We just need this little piece here. Because again, if you go here to the back, we select it. And now we can also scale that towards the size of the lower mouth. So yeah, something like that. Let's bring it here to the top and press OK. Cool. And now if we press E, we can extrude it. So let's do this. So we press E and extrude it. So we cover this whole bottom mouth. And we also see the left side of the mouth is the same with the right side. So we will create here our shape in a second. So the teeth or something, I don't know. And so the mouth has a mouth, right? Oh man, this is really funky. Yeah, and then we will work with this polygons here. So I, I hope that makes sense, but it should. All right. So now we have to create here this cuts. And this is what I said here. If you want it exactly, you have to spend just more time. But um, yeah, so let's go here to the front and shift A and create a line and just snap it here to the edge. Right click. So we just make it one piece by one piece. Oh, and also we have to select this whole piece and we need those sheets separately. So press Alt J. So we unjoin. So you see we have then three of them. Perfect. So let's just bring this with G and control click to the face. And yeah, we can see and cut this, but yeah, let's do first the others. So then the second piece, you see, I don't know. It's just going, yeah, I will just do it freeform. So what we will do is face mode and you select double click this face here. So this face is selected and you press space because now you see the construction plane is aligned to this thing here. So press space bar, shift A and snap it here to the curve end and yeah, create basically yeah the shape you want. So I don't know, something like that. Right click. Perfect and press C and cut the sheet. Yeah, so let's do it now. And also here, C, select this edge, C and cut this sheet. And now, yeah, if we see here, so the last piece is just going like down. So we go to this piece and double click um, spacebar and shift A, we can snap here to the curve end and yeah, just bring it down here somehow. Uh, let me go back before we cut. Um, so we did, I did it wrong here. So we, the second line, so we go back here because you see it's going down, but then back up because the last piece is going down. So um, select this face and shift A, curve end. And yeah, let's do something just like like that, right click, press C and cut this body. And now select this and this, tap um, spacebar, shift A again, go here to the curve end. And yeah, just make it like that and press C and cut this body. And now you can select all of those pieces. Okay, this one also we have to cut, right click. So you see it now with tap, uh, tap mode, we can select and press X and also delete those edges and go out of the construction plane and we have something like that. And this is fine. So let's do the same here for the bottom. So create, go again here to the front or to the back, wherever you are and just create a new line and go here to the edge, right click and directly yeah, C and cut this body. And now let's have a look. Okay, it's going down and straight. So go to here and uh, spacebar, shift A, go to the edge and, and bam and bumps here and press C, cut this face here. And now the last piece is just going down. So go again, select this piece and double click spacebar, select this, select this point and just go here to the edge, press C, 
cut this body, press OK, go out. And yeah, now we can delete those pieces here and this and this and this. And perfect. So we basically have our mouth. So before we give it thickness, um, let's select all with uh, object mode, press J. And let's just shift D so we can also do it one second with our mouth. Just bring it somewhere. It's not important right now where. And hide this here. So let's call it top mouth. So hide it. And here this thing now we have to bring to the middle. So if you go to the top view and this is selected and we are in the top view, press G, V again here drag the green one and control click to the X axis. So you see it's exactly in the middle. So now you can just press Alt X and Y to bring it to the other side, press OK, press J and we have our mouth. And if we, um, yeah, if we select this piece now here, we can thicken a sheet and we can give a mouth, but you see, we get some things here ongoing. So what you could do is just press OK because yeah, this is almost what we want. And yeah, there are no other really simpler way that I found. So what I will just do is where we have those things, I will just select one face and just, um, yeah, just select this face and just bring that down so yeah it's just um yeah going uh, getting rid of this weird shape so again press this here and just press g and just bring that down a little bit and yeah also here so i don't know if you know so yeah just press here maybe Or maybe we can also just select that and just yeah drag that outwards. That all works also fine. Let's try it here. We select this face here and just yeah drag that. Okay, that works also. And yeah, but you could or should also do it on the bottom if it's not, but I don't know, that's fine. Yeah, maybe you have a different option, but the thing is to get the symmetry and yeah, this kind of shape. And all of those lines go in the middle, like we have here in the reference. I couldn't found any other way, but yeah, that's still fine. So if we bring back our top mouth, no, I mean our main body, that looks fine. And yeah, maybe we can just select it and top view, just scale that a little bit down. And yeah, but yeah, you can play them around and, 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 and see maybe, yeah, we have to scale it even more. Something, yeah, something like that. So yeah, and then you can play with the attachment, but yeah, it doesn't look like that. So yeah, this is fine. And now let's just do very quick the top piece. So select that and first of all, what I want to do is I just want to select all of those pieces and just drag them down. And yeah, I just want to start from new. So I create the line. I cut it here and press C and cut this body and delete it. And the same here for the bottom. Let's create here a line and press C and cut this face here and delete this bottom piece. So yeah, for the, um, top, yeah, I don't care so much. You can spend a little bit of time, but let's just do here the line. So like that. And we can cut. Oh, first of all, we have to um, select this and Alt J to unjoin. So now we can actually take this line, press C and cut it, select this piece and the line. Yeah, now it's going like down. So select this face and double click spacebar and create a line to something like that. Right click, press C and cut this body and yeah, delete those things here. And the last is again, just going down. So select tab, select this, double click. So the face is selected, shift A, go to the edge, to the edge, 
press C and cut it. So you can delete it again. Perfect. So select both, press J to join them. Go to the top view, press G and V and snap it here to the endpoint and drag it down, control click to the X axis and Alt X and Y again, press J and again. So we select this and give it a little bit of thickness and that looks fine. So let's go here to the, yeah, oh look this, we even got the shape almost exact. And yeah, we have here again some little errors, but I don't really care. So let's just create here <laughs> this eye on the mouth. So again, shift A and just create this shape here. And C, or even better, uh, shift I to imprint it on this body. Press OK, select this. And yeah, you can just select that and just drag that in a little bit. And I mean also, so shift click both of those and drag them in a little bit. And yeah, so basically if we Alt H and bring everything back and we press Alt Z, we have basically here our thing. So let's give it just here a chamfer. And again, go to the top view and just scale it down. So yeah, it's basically the same. Yeah, so something like that. And yeah, a really funky little grenade. Yeah, give it some fillets. It will look uh, better. Awesome. So if you want to learn much more in-depth plasticity with much better and in-depth um, explanations and everything step-by-step, step, check out my new sci-fi course with three in-depth products. We will also cover an absolute crazy high detailed sci-fi grenade. So yeah, but I hope you liked this tutorial here. So yeah, it was a lot of fun to create this little funky shape here. And leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the other videos and see you in the next one. Bye.